Okay, so there we go. Both players ready. Submissions are now closed for the match ball uh, predictions. Okay. And uh, we are off and away. Eiferton sporting his shiny new 11G uh, tag on his username to signify that he is part of that German community. And what a great point to start things off. Ribu really going for the jugular and some beautiful attacks from him, especially on that backhand. This could be a spicier match than we might have expected, but uh, it's early days, just the first few points. Oh, and a nice flick there from Ifa. Sends Ribu out wide. And now Ifa's turn to start trying to work the Frenchman. But ah, nice. Nice Ribu side spin blocks a... from Ribu. Really, yeah, really, really. really, really good work from him defending there. And he just seems so energetic. He's yeah. come into this match determined to make his mark. And it's, it's impressive. I think he just had a Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Oh, and a nice try there, trying to go for the sneaky placement down the line. And uh, yeah, I don't think Eifer's going to have an easy task here. This is uh, a good performance so far from Ribu. He's really yeah. earning some of these points. Definitely. And of course, Eifer doing Eifer things and just keeping the ball on the table seemingly endlessly Wow! Oof, before he finishes that one out wide. Oh, but. Really? Ribu definitely stretching eye for here. This is this is not a walk in the park for the world number one. He is having to play, which is more than can be said for a lot of opponents that face Eiffelton. Sometimes it seems like he can do nothing wrong. He is out to a big lead, of course. He's uh, well ahead in this first game and now has seven game points. We're playing best of five matches here in the group stages of both of our end of season two championships. Best of five matches. Each match is a best of three games or sets to 11 points. So plenty of time for Ribu to continue this fantastic performance that he's putting in and perhaps get some joy from it. Really good to see. Look at these attacks. Oh, and then switching it up with the block back to the attacks. Wow. Oh, my goodness. What, a, what an amazing rally to end that first game. And yeah, Ribu is putting up one hell of a fight here. As you said, Eiffelton is dealing with it, but it's making for some really exciting rallies. This is great to watch. Yeah, nothing comes free for Eiffelton, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. He's having to earn those points. And uh, he's going to be pretty tired by the end of this one, I'm pretty sure. Ribu is going to give him a workout. And vice versa, by the looks of things. Oh, catches the net, but Eiffelton still gets there. Ribu tries to go around the net, nearly gets it. Absolutely electric stuff here. What a great match so far. Oh, and really wow. good work from Ribu to pounce on that, but Eifer's still there. Like always, just lurking, waiting, looming, ready to return every shot that you think is a winner. But I love the energy that Ribu is putting out there. If he keeps up this pace, I'm going to be very, very impressed, regardless of the scoreline. <laughs> Levin France is asking if I think I'll still have a voice at the end of this evening. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I can't join you for all the matches this evening, unfortunately. Oh, no, these are the only two matches, yeah. so I absolutely can. What am I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I like the fact that Ribu is just coaching himself. He's like, oh, change yeah. the rhythm, change the rhythm. Yeah, always interesting to nice. have a player with their mic on. Wow. What? Oh, my goodness. That's not the first what? time today from Alphaton. What on earth was that? He did the same against the OCG. This is just crazy. <sighs> Just unreal. That was almost looked like a tennis stroke. It was looked yeah. like it was his whole arm. <laughs> Let it was absolutely Roger outrageous. Federer backhand. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Goodness me. And I for now closing in on taking this first match. On the scoreboard, it looks like a comfortable win for him. But oh, and a nice, nice little flick off the net for Ribu there. Um, but I would suggest. This has not been as comfortable as Ifa might have hoped or expected. Ribu is uh, full of energy and really making Ifa earn these points. But the world number one does continue to do exactly that. 
je peux pas jouer mieux que ce que je joue là. He just said, I can't play better than I'm playing right now. Yeah, and I think that's fair. He's playing incredibly well. Uh, he just happens to be up against arguably the greatest player in the game right now, which makes it very difficult. But it's great for us as spectators. I mean, Ribu is just really working eye for making him earn those points. It's uh, impressive to see. But yes, understandably demoralizing for, for Ribu himself. Like he says, if he's playing the best he can and uh, is still not really getting anywhere, that's uh, that's difficult. Ah, merde. Into the second match, though. Let's see if Ribu can gain some momentum. And wow, Aye. how did I ever dig that one off the floor? With all of that spin as well, I thought Ribu had finally defeated the master, at least in one point. But life has still had the answer. Just incredible. <laughs> Oh bah ouais, bah non. It's just shaping up to be another masterclass from the German world number one, just ah. showing us that he can deal with everything. And uh, you can hear Ribu having yeah. a bit more of a word with himself there between points. He just said that he has to force. But yeah, that's he's right. He needs to force. Oh, and that, that's the yeah. thing. You have to force, but then you. I think the problem is that he's been trying to do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's been holding back much. He's been trying to attack everything, and Eifer is just too good at the moment. Oh, lovely placement there on the forehand, though. Ribu finally penetrates the German wall there. As wow. Eiffelton is known, but look at that forehand, so much side spin. <laughs> he can't quite adjust his body position. You hear his uh, his scream of frustration there. But we're straight into the second game of this second match. Eiffel now up one game to nothing. Just a bad contact on that first serve and then bad placement on the second one. He gives away two free points. Not often you get that from the world number one. Il a la pression, le garçon. Oh, elle est belle. Elle a joué. Ah, yeah, he was up 4-1 and now it's 4-3 without almost playing. Yeah. That's the thing in a match like this against a player like Eifer. I say a player like Eifer, there's really no players like Eifer, but against a very, very top player, if you get that little lead, you have to take advantage of it. Otherwise, it's going to evaporate. And, oh, the double net bounce doesn't go in his favor there. Good backhand, though. Keeping pace in this game, despite a couple of dropped points. Still one point ahead for the French player. Good to see that he's not giving up. He's keeping his head up. <coughs> Believes that he can take a game off the world number one. Yeah. And look at that. Woo. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Shots like that. He should believe it. Maybe we're seeing Rabu find his uh, his stride. Can he convert this? But uh, as he always does, I for closing this gap. And has now equalized eight apiece. Very, very close game, this one. No! Ribu's best chance, and he fouls a serve. The difference between 10-8 and 9-all is so huge there. But he gets another chance. Game point, Ribu. Oh, and just can't quite clear the net. We go to a tie break. Both players switching between attack and defense here. Oh, just amazing nah, stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How does Eiffel return both of those? I have no idea. Unreal. Unreal. No. Oh, and then an easy win for him on the second point of the tie break. Wow.
incredible stuff. I mean, huge props to Ribu for getting that close. Let's not forget, he's playing someone rated almost 500 ELO points above him, who also happens to be the world number one and top seed. The fact that he's getting close to taking games off IFA here is absolutely incredible. I just hope that right now he will just start believing that he can take it and not start thinking about, oh, I was so close. Yeah, exactly. That's what he needs to do with that, that lost tie break is not dwell on it, but take it as a sign. Like, look, you almost won that game. So go ahead and win this next one. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it's going back. Oh, Ifa finds a table. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Ravu had a little bit of luck because it pinged off the net and the white line, but uh, yeah, I don't think it is reasonable to expect that lob from Ifa to find the table. Certainly the Frenchman was caught out by it. Oh, what? Wow! What? <laughs> <laughs> he, he he's playing and he's like oh will you stop bringing it back fuck <laughs> that is unreal what an incredible rally but that backhand i thought on went corner oh. to corner from forehand corner into the backhand corner and then he played a counter what the heck was that just unbelievable just absolutely unbelievable I mean, clearly, Ifa has recognized that, you know, contrary to his seeding in the tournament, Ribu has come to play, and Ifa needs to play his best. He's he's not going easy on him. He's having to give it everything. All right, it looks like maybe Ifa's lost a controller. Your controller is under the table. Yeah, I see that. You're in the mess. I don't know why, but you're in the mess. It's good, it makes a pause. We just said that he's happy because it means that he has a pause now, so... <laughs> yeah, that's it. With the mic on, we can hear just how much energy and effort Ribu is putting into this match. But he was just playing those forehands and he was like, Will you fucking stop? Brûlez vos calories pour aujourd'hui. Ah bah tu m'étonnes que je les ai brûlées, mes calories. Ouais, mais tu joues bien, très très bien. Ouais, mais il est, euh, est un magnifique il match. Est sur une autre, euh, oui, il oui. est sur une autre planète, lui. Oui, c'est ça. Mais, euh, pff, quand même, tu joues magnifique. C'est impressionnant. J'essaye, j'essaye. Il a très bien joué. Ah, il est revenu. Ah non, il n'est pas revenu. Si. De ouais, toute façon, comme ça, il arrivera à finir le match pareil. Ouais, euh, vas-y. All right, so it looks like Eif is going to uh, abandon his left controller and start serving. Oh. Bah ouais, mais ça... c'est la merde. Looks like he's going to start serving off of his, his racket hand. Bah non. <laughs> or at least trying to. Your serve, Alpha. Yeah, I guess he's trying to press the trigger even though uh... he's using an adapter. So it's kind of a bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Probably something that... Is it the battery or what is it? I don't know. Uh, how can I change the preset throw? Oh, no. Okay, so let's see. You should be okay. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what is with the controller. Battery was 100% when I started, so let's try. Okay. Ready? Oh, but vas-y, vas-y. Wait. All right, so here we go. Ifa down to playing one-handed. Oh, and Ribu catches that it's, edge. It's very weird to see only one paddle float and, and not seeing the other controller. It's amazing how much information you kind of your brain fills in by seeing both those hands. Yeah. Oh, and Ifa just dribbles that one over the net on a crucial point as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Great rally. Wow. What? Oh. What? What? <laughs> oh, no. And he did the counter again. Oh, my goodness. This is absurd. Absolutely absurd from the world number one. Just no. too good. Oh, yeah. Just too wow. good. Maybe we should take his other hand away and then it might be a fair fight, right? And then tie his both feet together. Exactly. He can only play the ball with his head. <laughs> so I for closing in on a win here. You can hear the frustration, the exasperation from Ribu. I mean, it, I don't know what more he could have done. He's played phenomenally well. And I think against almost any other opponent, this would have been a real, real contest. But Ifa is just wow. of another class. He's just too good. But I think Ribu should be very, very pleased with this performance, even though he <laughs> won't like the scoreline, of course. It's been just fantastic. And to see him come out with so much energy and drive and to very nearly take a game off of Ifa. I think it's just sensational. So massive, massive respect. I think there'll be other players in this group who uh, might be a little bit concerned now looking at uh, Imar and uh, Lao CG. Now they've seen what Ribu can, uh, can bring to the table. Wow. Oh, Beautiful. absolutely slaps it back there, Ravu. He's still saying, you know, I'm I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep playing. You're going to have to earn it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is just crazy. I mean, we used to say with Ifa that, you know, you always have to play one or two more winners than you think. It feels like at the moment you have to play about six more winners than you think. And there it is. What a match. Best player. Thank you. Thank you very much. I can imagine what you said in, in France. Uh, <laughs> he was like, can you stop fucking bringing it back? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Je sais pas ce que vous dites, mais ça doit être rigolo. <laughs> it sounded really, really good. Uh, On traduit ce que tu avais dit. Ah d'accord, ok. <laughs> ok, bah, bah, merci beaucoup. C'était un plaisir. Merci. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Ribou. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. See you. Thank you very much, Arthur. Yeah. Ian. One more uh, game from you, so see you during your last group stage game. Yeah, tomorrow. Yes. And, and now I will check my controller. Okie dokie. Bye bye. Have a good one. Bye bye.